What's up guys, I'm Vocal Strike, and welcome back to an another episode of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. Last time we finished up the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters story, and this time we are going to be starting the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX story. The next King of Games. Thanks to Yu-Gi-Oh! and his friends, dueling had now become a worldwide phenomenon and duel academies popped up everywhere. Aspiring duelist Jaden Yuki was given the chance to enter the highly distinguished duel academy, but there was one catch. He must win a duel to gain entry. In his rush to get to the school, he bumped into a mysterious person that resembled a familiar figure from the past. Ah, sorry. You're a duelist, aren't you? You could probably guess who this is. Yep, I'm gonna try out the academy. You don't say. Yeah, hey, you're... Why don't you take this? Something tells me that it belongs to you. Wow, for real? Good luck. Realizing that he was late, Jaden rushed off to the academy hoping to get there in time to qualify for entry. As you could probably guess, uh, GX takes place several years after Duel Monsters. And... At this point, Yugi and his friends all graduate from high school, they're grown up, they are adults, and Yugi actually... Hmm. Uh, grew up to look and sound like uh, Yami Yugi. Realizing that he was late, Jaden rushed off to the academy hoping to get there in time to qualify for entry. He did not go to actual Duel Academy, it was more like a little branch place. Um, and Duel Academy is on an island, so you don't actually go there unless you qualify to enter into the Academy. Alright, test time. Son, what's your name? Uh, Jaden Yuki. Well, uh, Jaden Yuki, I am Dr. Velian Crawler, Department Chair of Techniques here at Duel Academy. Wow, a Department Chair? I had no idea. From how you were dressed, I was thinking you were some kind of weird academy mascot. Like a majorette or a cheerleader. Despite Crowler's appearance, Crowler is a male. He is a man. How do I get one of those cool dual blazers like the one you're wearing? A lot of hard work and extremely high marks. Of course, you first have to get into Duel Academy, and I intend to make certain that won't be happening. Well, I'm ready, so let's duel. To get into Duel Academy, you have to, <clears throat> you not only have to make a good enough grade, but you also have to win a duel. Welcome to Duel Academy. I'm here to ensure that you are up to date on summons. Today we will be covering fusion summons. Fusion summoning was a thing in Duel Monsters, but it was mostly a boss uh, monster type of thing that most people technically did not use. <clears throat> uh, when GX rolled around, they started making the fusion deck, as it was called at the time, a bit more of a resource. So they even started making archetypes centered around fusion summoning. Uh, like what Jaden's deck is based on. Dr. Crowler uses ancient gear monsters, and basically kind of starts this trend that anyone, that usually a lot of people from Duel Academy... If you go to Duel Academy, you will generally run into at least one duelist there that uses ancient gears. His heavy hitter is the ancient gear golem. Jaden uses elemental heroes, which normally by themselves are not very powerful. They hardly ever break 2,000 attack points maximum for the most part. But... What they lack in power by themselves, they make up for when they are fused together, as their fusion monsters actually make up the bulk of their power. A fusion summon is done by using a polymerization card to summon a fusion monster. Fusion monsters are monsters you can summon from your extra deck and not from your main deck. They basically do this just in case you jumped into GX's um, story 
and did not start with dual monsters. On top of that, dual monsters does not cover fusion summoning despite the fact that you do that you are able to fusion summon in the dual monster stories. Fusion monsters are violet color cards in your extra deck. They are summoned by using the specific monsters listed on the card combined with a summoning card like Polymerization or Fusion Gate. They also started releasing more uh, uh, fusion monsters. Be right back. And I'm back. As the description of Polymerization says, you can send fusion material monsters that are listed by a fusion monster card from your hand or your side of the field to the graveyard, and special summon the fusion monster from your extra deck. First, let's protect our life points. Set Elemental Hero Clay Man in defense mode. That's all we can do right now. End your turn. Now let's perform a fusion summon. Let's activate polymerization. The Elemental Hero Rampart Blaster. Uh, Elemental Hero Clayman and Elemental Hero Bristinatrix must be fusion summoned. This card can attack directly while in defense position. If it does, apply its attack and damage calculation to its attack, and its attack is halved during damage calculation only. You can see that in order to summon a mos this monster, you need to use two monsters as fusion material. Select your Elemental Hero Clayman and Elemental Hero Burstinatrix cards as fusion materials. You can still normal summon as well. Summon Elemental Hero Nusp in attack position. Okay, now it's time to attack. Uh, each time this card plays battle, she gains 100 attack and loses 100 defense. While you control another face of Elemental Hero Monster, your opponent cannot target this card for an attack, and this card can attack your opponent directly. Oh! But let's see what other fusion monsters we have. We have Elemental Hero Thunder Giant, the Elemental Hero Tempest, the Elemental Hero Mariner, Elemental Hero Flame Wingman, and Elemental Hero Electrum. The Flame Wingman is what Jaden used in the anime in order to be Crowler. Now let's set up our next turn. Select main phase 2 from the phase menu. Let's use fusion recovery to retrieve polymerization and elemental hero prostinatrix from the graveyard. That, that was super effective. Now let's set our trap card Jar of Greed. Now to end the turn. Now, if you already know how to fusion summon, and there's his ace, the Ancient Gear Golem. Um, if you already know... Whoa, your opponent was has a really tough card out on the field, but luckily we can deal with that. Let's use our spell card Skyscraper to give us a little boost and take our opponent down a notch. Hmm, maybe we could do even more. Let's use our Jar of Greed to draw a card. 
Um, if you already know how to fusion summon, you can honestly treat this as a normal duel instead of having to go through it as a tutorial duel. Um, I am doing a tutorial duel for those who probably just went ahead and jumped to the GX story, as well as anyone, as well as have a little bit of a refresher for fusion summoning. Yes, we now have the fusion material to fusion summon Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. Okay, let's perform our, another fusion summon by using polymerization again. <laughs> let's select Elemental Hero Flame Wee Man since we have both Elemental Hero Avion and Elemental Hero Burstinatrix in our hand or fusion for fusion material. Elemental Hero Flame Wee Man is actually a fairly decent card. Elemental Hero Avion and Elemental Hero Burstinatrix must be used. Must be fusion summoned and cannot be special summoned by other ways. When this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack points of the destroyed monster in the graveyard. Now it is time to win this duel. Let's attack Ancient Gear Golem with your Elemental Hero Flame Wee Man. Then we'll finish him off with Elemental Hero Nusp. Now that may seem like a bit of a stupid idea. After all, Ancient Gear Golem has stronger attack points. Or does it? If an Elemental with Skyscraper on the field, if an Elemental Hero monster attacks a monster that has higher attack points, the attacking monster gains 1000 attack points during damage calculation only. So, if we attack Ancient Gear Golem with the Elemental Hero Flame Wee Man, he goes from having 2100 attack points to 3100 attack points. And since we also destroy uh, Golem, uh, he, due to Flame Wee Man's effect, he takes 3000 points of damage. Now to finish him off with Nusp. And. You win! That's game! So I guess I passed the test, huh, Teach? Impossible! There's no way this delinquent could defeat me! I made the Academy! I'm in! I'm in! By defeating Dr. Crowler, Jaden was granted entry to Duel Academy. The next day, everyone gathered in the main hall for the introduction ceremony. Excuse me. Welcome, my students. I am Chancellor Shepard, the headmaster here. And you are the best and brightest young duelists in the world. Now please get yourself settled in at your assigned dorms. I think you'll find them quite comfortable, depending upon how you ranked, of course. Well, I don't know about you, Sai, but it looks like I'm in the Slifer Red dorm. That's cool, same with me. Hey, Bastion, you in red too? Well, now, let's see. Yellow sleeves, yellow buttons, I don't think so. Oh, I get it, so that's why Sai and I are in red. Please don't tell me that you just figured that out now. So what? Ever think I'm colorblind? Well, no. Actually, I didn't. Are you colorblind? No, but I could have been. See you around the dorms. I doubt that. You're going the wrong way. Your dorm is over there. This isn't a dorm. It's like an outhouse with a deck. Honestly, I think we're seeing the back side of this dorm. That or this is actually not the right building at all. I don't think this is actually the right building at all. You kidding me? Check out the view. This place is great. This one here is our room, Sai. It's kind of small, huh? Hey, you're a small guy. Anyway, I like it. Anyway, I like it. This will make a sweet pad for our first year here. It's kind of weird mean at the entrance exams and now roommates? You think we were somehow connected to each other in some ancient life, Jaden? You know, like... You know, like you were an ancient Egyptian pharaoh and I was the guardian Seto. No offense, but that's just lame. Well, it could be true. Forget it. They broke the molds when they made the two of us. Yeah, for different reasons. Because you're an awesome duelist and I'm... What's the opposite of awesome? Unawesome. Sai, we're gonna have to work on that competence. But first, let's work on this pad. Open the curtains and let in the fresh air. Hey, those were closed for a reason. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we didn't see you sleeping up there at the on that bunk bed. Who are you and what are you doing in my room? 
Oh, sorry. My name's Jaden Yuki, and I'm Cyrus. We're your new roommates. You're new, all right. So let me tell you how things work around here. What things? Like when parents' weekend is going to be? More like how the whole color thing works. That's more important than anything. Yeah? You got three different kinds of students here. Obelisk blue students, raw yellow students, and slifer red students. The blues are the highest rate students. Some kids are blues because of grades, others through connections. Basically either rich people or people who basically got all straight A's, practically. The yellows are second highest. Mostly younger students like lots of with lots of potential. Uh, the raw yellows are second, are like, um, are like the middle between the slifers and the obelisks. Uh, the character that we saw before, Bastion Masawa, is a raw yellow. Then there are us, the Red Wonders. The Wonders, that's a cool name. As in, I wonder how flunkies like us ever got this far. The slifer reds are the lowest ranks. They have... They were basically people who have next to no dueling skill and generally have uh, so dueling skill as well as barely managed to get in because of their shitty grades. Sorry, but we're bottom of the barrel here. Dueling duds. Hello, children. My name is Professor Banna. I am not only your headmaster at Slifer Red, but I also teach alchemy at Duel Academy. You will also learn that I am a wonderful chef. Why, all my students characterize my scrumptious meals as adequate. So chop chop to the cafeteria. It's lunchtime. Oh, I'm Chumley, by the way. <laughs> um, when we saw Cyrus with that yellow vest, this, he was not a raw yellow until... I want to say season two is when he got moved into raw yellow which was the next which was the second year for him and since we basically ble breezed through the next king of games unlike the case where i had to cover so much with duel monsters we're just gonna jump right into the second duel a duel in love angry that jay made a mockery of him dr crowler created a fake love letter from alexis rhodes the jewel of monopolis blues top students also, something to note is that each different uh, rank has different dorms. The Slifer Reds actually have a dorm that you would most likely see at a children's uh, like church summer camp. Uh, the food that they get is edible at best. And it is traditionally not all that great. The Raw Yellows get a bit more of a dorm that's more or less built like a nice looking house. They even get good food that you would expect from a home cooked meal. As for the Obelisk Blues, they actually get two dorms. One for the boys, one for the girls. And the Obelisk Blues are basically up there with mansions. They get the best food, they get the best living arrangements, they get the best everything. Now, just because you were chosen in a rank, like in the case with Jade and Cyrus and Chumley starring with Slifer Reds, does not mean you get to stay there. As you go through Duel Academy, you will actually also take on tests that allow you to go up in rank. That allows you to switch dorms. If you, t if you score high enough, you get to go up to the next rank. So if you start at Slifer Red, you can move on to Raw Yellow and eventually Obelisk Blue. But at the same time, you could also go backwards. And go, like, go from, like, Obelisk Blue to Raw Yellow to even Slifer Red in some cases. Since the moment I first saw you, I've been in love with you. Meet me tonight behind the girls' door. Endearingly, Alexis Rhodes. Dr. Crowler planned to expel Jaden by getting a photo of him trespassing in the girls' dorm, which is, of course, not uh, excuse me, not allowed. It was the perfect plan, except Dr. Crowler accidentally put the love letter in Cyrus's locker instead of Jaden's. Uh, Duel Academy is generally like a bunch of high school level stuff, 
So they separate the boys and girls in Obelisk Blue, but not so much in Cypher Reds or Rye Yellows. Later that night at the girls' dorm, Alexis and her friends caught Cyrus and demanded that Jaden come rescue him. If you don't want us to turn you in, you're going to have to win your freedom by beating me in a duel right now. Okay, yeah, I think the last time was a mistake. He's supposed to, Cyrus is supposed to be wearing red right now, not yellow like he did before. If you turn us in, we'll be expelled. Don't worry, Cy. I won't let that happen. Now let's duel, Alexis. Alexis Rose also uses uh, a type of cyber monsters, but more like cyber uh, dancer monsters, like F12 Cyber and Cyber Tutu. Let's see, what do we got? Thunder Giant and Flame Wing Man. If I can get Spark Man. She shouldn't be able to take down my Clay Man easily. Yeah, see, there's that 12 Cyber. You kind of see what I mean by cyber dancers. Oh, nice, Spark Man. Well, let's go ahead and fusion summon uh, Thunder Giant, which actually does have a summoning animation. It was considered Jaden's ace before he got elemental hero Neos. Let's give her a fusion gate. And then summon Avion, and we go in on the attack. Um, we're generally in season one of Duel Academy of GX. And Season 1 generally didn't have entirely an antagonist, much less a central story. The closest thing to an antagonist is, um, is Crowler, who's been trying to get Jaden um, expelled. And failing every time. Yeah, this is this is in the bag, hopefully. Once per turn, you get to discard one card to target one face up a tap position monster your opponent controls and destroy it. Ooh, nope, we are getting rid of you. Goodbye. Um, since that was able to send a monster back to the hand. If you use a card like Compulsory Evacuation Device on an extra deck monster like Fusion, Synchros, XCs, and Lynx, they do not go back to the hand. They instead get put back into the extra deck. Meaning that you basically have to... Uh, you have to summon them again if you want to bring them back. And you may not have the necessary materials if you do that. Looks like that's game. A deal's a deal. I won, so we get off free. Okay, guys, we'll keep quiet about what happened tonight. Jane beat me fair and square, and that's all there is to it. Um, Alexis is a love interest to Jaden. Nah, there's more to it than that. It was a close match. He got game. And speaking of which, Jaden has his own catchphrase. And that is, get your game on. 
the Shadow Duelist. This will be the final duel for the episode. Jane and his friends Cyrus and Chumney were wandering the school grounds when they came across an old abandoned dorm that was supposedly haunted. To their surprise, Alexis was also there. Alexis? What are you doing here? That's funny, I was about to ask you guys the very same qu very same thing. We heard about the dorm and wanted to check it out. Well, that's not very intelligent. Don't you know that kids have a way of disappearing around here? Ah, uh, that's just some urban myth. No, it's not. Believe me, I know. Why else would the Academy make this place completely forbidden? If you catch you here, they'll expel you, Jaden. So why are you he here? One of the kids who disappeared here was my brother. If Alexis' brother really disappeared, then the rumors aren't just rumors. I say we go back, Jaden. Yeah, I say we go in. What? Oh, wait up. I hope Jaden knows what he's doing. Huh, who are you? When Jaden and his friends entered the dorm to investigate, Alexis was captured by Titan, a notorious hitman hired by Dr. Crowder to kick Jaden out of the academy. Titan trapped Alexis in a coffin, using her as bait to goad Jaden into a duel. Hand Alexis over right now or you'll be sorry. The only way I'll free her is if you beat me at a shadow game. I'm not afraid of dueling you, but shadow games don't exist. The others didn't believe in the shadow games either, but they were soon convinced. For you see, when you lose in a shadow game, you don't just pay with your life points, you pay with your soul. So you're the one behind all those disappearances. Well, you're not getting us, especially Alexis. Unless you win, she's mine forever, as will you be. Alright, get your game on. Titan uses Archfiend monsters, and yes, he is a... He is a hitman, very similar to Panic. Um, and he tries to use the story of the Shadow Games to his advantage. He's actually a hypnotist. He's not using any sort of magic or anything, but this duel actually does at some point become a proper Shadow Game. Let's go ahead and play you. Let's see what you got. Thunder Giant and Flame Wee Man again. Um, Duel Academy also gives out uh, their own types of duel discs that uh, to the students. So they're not using the Battle City era duel discs. Or the Duel Monsters Era Duel Discs, rather. Um, Titan also has his own style of Duel Discs. Like I said, this is actually where they really start... Um... Uh, start actually releasing more different Duel Disc designs. Oh no, I forgot. This isn't... Oh, this is a skyscraper. Oops, that was a mistake and a half. I thought I played skyscraper for a second, not fusion gate. Oh. Uh. choice. Uh, oh, while we have Elemental Hero Bristinatrix out here, there was actually a bit of a card errata involving her. Um, the original card text, uh, that was a fluff text, uh, she was never an effect monster anyway was that Burstinatrix, it stated that she was the only elemental hero woman. Um, then they released 
uh, more female elemental hero monsters like elemental hero lady heat and they changed it to where it says she was the first elemental hero woman and there's actually a lot of stuff that they are skipping over um, in regarding season one Yeah, I figured he'd do that. Oh yeah, normally when it comes to Archfiend monsters, you have to pay life points. There is a bit of life point management when it comes to Archfiends. Um, but the Pandemonium card allows you to not have to pay the life points at all. Mm. Mm. That Skull Archmean of Lightning, which is just a reprinted Summon Skull, is a little bit of trouble. I better bulk up my defenses instead of Fusion Summoning. Terror, Terror King Archfiend. Bubble Shuffle. Oh, this doesn't help. Why would you set a field spell? That doesn't... Oh, yep, there goes the... There goes the freezing. Mm, this isn't good. Uh, but they are actually skipping over some things from season one and honestly it is not that big of a deal because again season one is just you know Jaden's first time having to deal with uh, being a dual academy you know little misadventures and stuff like that um, He's, he had to deal with someone who was stealing a uh, Yugi's deck, which was being showcased over at Duel Academy. He had to deal with a ghost of Jinzo. Uh, I would have to pay 500 life points each time, but... Yeah, let's do it. Let's bring out a heavy hitter. We're gonna need it. Okay, all fiend-type monsters he controls, and the archfiends are fiend-types. Mm 
Give her a bubble shuffle as it's kind of useless. And let's bring back Sparkman. And we win. Jaden was able to defeat Titan and free Alexis from her coffin. Good morning, sleepyhead. Where am I? What are you doing here? Hold on. What kind of thank you is that? We're here because we had to find the bad guy, win the duel, and rescue the damsel in distress. Oh yeah, that strange man snatched me. That's right. We found your card and this. A picture of my brother? This is the first tradesman I've seen in a long time. I brought it to let you know that we want to help you find him. After all, we can't have you getting locked up in any more tombs searching for him all by yourself. You really were worried about me, weren't you? Well, I think that's a good introduction to Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. So in the next episode, we are going to start the next chapter in the GX story. For the sake of Cyrus. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you all in the next episode.